HubSpot is one of our favorite CRM platforms that we recommend to many of our clients due to all of its incredible features ideal for small businesses. One of these dynamic features is their built-in email marketing capabilities. No matter if you're using HubSpot's free CRM or a paid hub option, you can still leverage email marketing and start creating and sending email campaigns to your audience. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to another small business tutorial. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now today I'm going to launch into a HubSpot email marketing tutorial for beginners and help you get started with email marketing so that you can connect, engage, educate and sell to your audience via email campaigns inside HubSpot's CRM. Okay, so before you go ahead and dive into HubSpot, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and create and send bulk email campaigns to your audience with HubSpot. <music> Okay, so what we want to do is get started with HubSpot's free CRM, Customer Relationship Management Platform, in order for us to engage in email marketing activities. Okay, so what you want to do to arrive at HubSpot is simply head over to your browser and type in hubspot.com and that's going to take you here or feel free to click the link in our description below this video. Now for those that already have a HubSpot account, go ahead, log in and we'll meet you inside your account. For everyone else, sign up, follow the step-by-step -step process of creating a free HubSpot account and again, we'll meet you inside your dashboard. Okay, so here we are inside our HubSpot account. Now, for those that are completely new to email marketing and completely new to HubSpot, then I suggest you watch our beginner's tutorial, which I'll link up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of the initial setup of your HubSpot account. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you're completely new to HubSpot. Now, HubSpot is a CRM, customer relationship management software, that also allows you to engage in email marketing activities. Now, HubSpot's CRM is built for sales. It's built to help you build relationships with your contacts, your leads, and your customers. For example, if we navigate up to services, you can manage customer support through tickets. We can also navigate over to sales, and this is where you can manage your sales pipeline. We can also manage day-to-day -day tasks within HubSpot. Down here, we can manage documents, we can create a meeting link, and we can manage meetings in one place. Then if we head over to marketing, we can manage our ads, we can engage in email marketing activities, which we're gonna dive into today, and you can also create landing pages, websites, and you can create forms to embed on your website. And you can also access more advanced features if you decide to upgrade to a paid hub plan. However, today we're just going to focus on HubSpot's free CRM and talk about how you can start engaging in email marketing activities by building an email list and creating email campaigns to send to your audience. Okay, so with that covered, the first thing that we need to do is actually add contacts to our CRM. These are the contacts that we want to engage with through email marketing activities. To do that, navigate up to contacts and come down and click on contacts. And as you can see down here, I've already gone ahead and added example contacts for the purpose of today's tutorial. However, to add a new contact or add multiple contacts, what you can do is simply navigate over to import and you have the option to import your contacts and other information by uploading a spreadsheet. And you can do that by coming down and clicking start and import, or you can sync data between other platforms. So you can bring your contacts from other platforms into HubSpot. Now, this is for those that already have a email list that already have contacts that they want to bring into HubSpot. However, let's say that you're starting a new business and you currently do not have a database of contacts. Then what you can do is navigate over to contacts and then come down and click on contacts again. And what you want to do is at least add one contact to your CRM so that we can start engaging in email marketing activities and at least send one email campaign to one contact. Now this contact could be your own contact information if you have zero contacts to add. 
Simply manually add your contacts information, email, first name, last name, contact owner, job, phone number, life cycle stage, and more down here. We can also navigate up to edit this form and you can edit the form fields, the information that you capture from your contacts. So for now, I'm gonna exit out of this because we have two example contacts that we wanna work with today. Now we can also navigate up to contacts and we can come down and create a list. This is a list we're gonna to use to send an email campaign to. So navigate over to create a list and then create a list name. I'm just gonna call this small business subscribers because my business is a consulting business and what we do is we provide educational emails every week to our audience and our audience are small business owners. Then navigate down and make sure that you have active list selected. This means that this list is going to grow. It's going to change over time. Then navigate over to next. Then if we navigate over to filters, this is where we can manage our list. Our filters determine which contacts are part of our list. I'm going to go ahead and click on add filter. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on contact properties. And contacts will be added to this list based on all these different filters that I add. For example, I could create the filter based on contact activity. If we navigate down here, I could also add contacts based on sales properties. And then we have deal information and contact information down here. So for example, if I wanted to create a list of all my contacts from a specific city, then what I would do is add city. And that would be a list of all my contacts from that city that I can send email campaigns to. If we navigate down, you can see that there are many different filters that we can add. However, every business is going to create a different list. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just gonna navigate back over to contacts and I'm gonna send a campaign to all my contacts. Now, what we can also do is navigate over to marketing and before we create an email campaign, what we can do is grow our audience by clicking landing pages. And under landing pages, this is where we can build lead capturing landing pages to build our email list to grow our contacts. For example, if you build a landing page, you can then share this landing page across all your different social media channels, as well as through all your other marketing activities. This means if a potential contact clicks on your landing page, they visit your landing page, they fill out their details, their contact details will be added to your HubSpot CRM. However, creating landing pages is not a focus for today's tutorial. So if you wanna learn more about landing pages and how to get started, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get started with creating landing pages. Okay, so what else can we do to build our contact database? Well, we can also navigate over to marketing and come down and click on forms. Now, within HubSpot's free plan, you can not only engage in email marketing activities, create landing pages, you can also create forms to then embed on your website. So when a visitor lands on your website and they fill out a form on your website, that contact is going to be added to your CRM. And those are two simple ways to build your email list, to build your contact database. Now, if you wanna learn more about forms and how you can connect your website with HubSpot, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that's gonna guide you through the process of connecting WordPress with HubSpot. Okay, so now that we've covered adding context to our CRM, as well as creating lists, and then growing our database, growing our email list through landing pages and online forms, that are embedded on our website, we can now engage in email marketing activities. To do that, simply navigate back up to marketing, come down and click on email. Then navigate over to create email. Then click on regular. We wanna create a beautiful personalized email to send to our contacts. Then navigate down and choose from a free basic template that you can build your email campaign from. I'm gonna navigate over and click on this welcome email. And that's gonna take us inside HubSpot's builder where we can go ahead and create and customize our email campaign before sending that to our contacts. Okay, so on the right hand side, you can see our email campaign. This is the template that we selected. Now what we wanna do is actually customize this campaign. Now this email campaign is broken down into first sections. We have a section up here, a section down here, and down here. Now within your section, you have these content blocks or elements. We have a element up here, an element down here, 
and down here. Now with each of these elements we can customize the element, we can duplicate the element and we can also delete the element if we like. And you can also see these other content elements, these content blocks over on the left hand side that you can simply drag and drop into your campaign. Now what we're going to do is first name our email campaign. I'm going to call this top three business growth hacks and I'm happy with that. Then if I come down here, I'm going to go ahead and change this logo by clicking on the logo and then navigating over here and clicking replace. I'm going to navigate down the page and add an image. Now we can also design with Canva. Now the logo I'm about to upload, I created in a few minutes using Canva. If you want to learn more about how to create logos within Canva, I'll add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of creating your logo for free inside Canva. However, today I'm going to come down and click on add image and then upload files. And this is the logo that I want to use. So I'm going to click on the logo and that's going to replace this logo. Now if I navigate over to width and height, I'm going to go ahead and change the size by either clicking these arrows down here or we can go ahead and simply change the side on this side. And I'm happy with that. I can also link this logo to my website if I like. And then down here we have these padding options. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to navigate up and click on done and then navigate down to the content. Now you can see we have all this content in here. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly replace this content and then play around with the different formatting options available up here. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added dummy content in here. Tip one, tip two, and tip three. Now what I'm going to do is highlight tip one and I'm going to bold that text. I'm also going to do the same down here and also with tip three. So I'm happy with that. Again, you can play around with the different fonts the sizing, bullet points, and more across here if you like. But I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to navigate over to the left hand side and I'm going to add another text element and I'm going to place that up here. Then I'm going to click on this element and delete this content here and then change this header. And I want all my content to be center aligned. So I'm going to come down and click center align. I'm also going to click on this content element and then navigate up here and click center aligned. And I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to navigate over to video and I'm going to drag this video element and place that down here. And what I'm going to do is use a video from my YouTube channel and add the link in here and that's going to embed the video into my email campaign. And as you can see that video has been embedded into my email. Now I'm going to navigate over to the width and height and customize these dimensions. And I'm happy with that. I can also come down and upload a custom thumbnail if I like. And then I can choose to customize or remove the padding. But I'm happy with this email campaign for now. So I'm going to navigate back. So again, this is an educational email that I'm sending to my audience. Remember, I send an email like this once a week. So take the time to play around with all of these different elements. For example, I'm going to go ahead and drag this button and I'm going to place that down here. And if a email recipient clicks on this button, that's going to take them to my website. I'm going to type in learn more and then add my URL. And then again, we have these customizable options down here for the button. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to navigate up and click done. Now you can also navigate up here and manually save your changes or HubSpot is going to make frequent automatic saves. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and I'm happy with all the changes I've made to this email campaign. Now we can also navigate over to design and we can customize the overall template design in terms of background colors, the body color, and these other basic options down here. If we click on text styles. These are the overall text styles or global styles of your email campaign. You can play around with these. And then we have buttons down here. This is gonna change the overall style of your buttons on your email campaign. And then we have dividers down here. So again, these are all of your global changes. If you make any changes here, you're going to see those changes on your entire email campaign. Now we also want to take a look at settings. If we click on settings, we first want to make sure that the from name is correct. This is who is sending this email. So your email recipients will see this from name as well as your email address. So go ahead, add your from name and the email address that you want to use. Then come down and add a subject line. I'm going to add top three business growth hacks. We can also add an emoji and a personalized token. We're going to leave that for now and come down to preview text. 
This is the second bit of text that the email recipient will see before they click on your email. So you want to make sure that your subject line and your preview text is compelling and enticing for the email recipient to click through to your email. And then down here we have some other basic settings that we're going to leave as they are. Okay, so once we finish our email settings, navigate up to send or schedule. Then come down and choose who you want to send this email campaign to. If we click here, we can search for a contact list or individual contacts that we want to send this campaign to. Down here we have individual contacts. Then we can also choose to import a list of contacts if we haven't done this already, or we can create a new list. Now, if you haven't created a list yet, what you want to do is go ahead and create a list like we showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. If you have individual contacts, then go ahead and select those individual contacts. Then navigate down here and choose the contacts that you do not want to send this email campaign to. For example, if you selected a list and it had a bunch of contacts on that list, but there's a few contacts you didn't want to send this email to, then you could select those contacts. Then when you're happy with your new email campaign and you're ready to send that email campaign to your audience, simply navigate up to send now and choose to either send now or send at a later date. And you just have to add that date in here. I'm going to navigate over to send now. And then down here, you can see that we have a sending limit because we're using HubSpot's free plan. You have 2000 email sends left for this month. Then when you're happy with your email campaign and you're ready to send this email to your selected audience, simply navigate up to review and send, review your email, and then simply send that email campaign to your audience. It's as simple as that. And there we have it guys, that is it for this HubSpot email marketing tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.